Right before I drive away to forget Why do I give a damn at you? Everything we said. Give you chilling pictures of a young murder victim's frantic final moments as he was chased and stabbed to death in a western suburb street. Police today describing the 21 year old's death as needless and senseless and his killers as pathetic. In a deserted well and back street, a young man's terrifying final steps. Moments earlier, 21-year-old Will Holdback had tried desperately to outrun his attackers. But he tripped and had nowhere to turn. The killer chasing Will down and stabbing him in an industrial street at around 1.30 this morning. He then jumps in a getaway car. In the car. In the outside. And speeds off. A group of musicians rehearsing nearby heard his screams for help and tried in vain to revive him. These people are pathetic. You know, they've taken a young man's life, and I think that when we get to the bottom of it, it will be just a senseless murder for something trivial. Detectives and forensic teams swarming the street this morning. Major Crime Police say Will was there to meet up with someone. His murder likely the result of a drug deal gone wrong. I come in at night at a bit sometimes and there's a few cars that roam up and down the street, but no big deal. Hours before the attack, Will Holdback is seen here, skateboard in hand, ringing a stranger's doorbell. Seven News understands the victim approached residents in the area yesterday afternoon, telling them he was looking for a man who had threatened him with a knife in a park close to this street where he was murdered in the early hours of this morning. But just who he'd planned to meet after walking from his Flinders Park home in the early hours remains a mystery. Nothing is solved by violence. They destroy the lives of his family and ultimately they destroy their own lives because we are going to find the person responsible and he will go to jail for a long, long time. Hannah Ford, 7 News. And Mitchell Sariovsky is live at the scene tonight. Mitch, the suspects remain at large. They do, Will. Police are throwing everything at this manhunt and say... Uh, with almost 50 officers assigned to the case, sorry, and this is their best lead, the dark-coloured sedan in which the killer was driven to the scene and then taken away from it in the moments after the deadly attack. Now, investigators aren't 100% sure what colour it is, but say it's a four-door sedan with a sunroof. It was last seen heading north on Welland Avenue just after 1.30 this morning. Now, the head of major crime saying today it's only a matter of time before the murderer and his accomplices are caught. G'day, guys. Cars Chronicles. All right. So as you can see, we've got another victim here to this bullshit stabbing stuff that's going on in Australia right now. And um, it's not like it's only just started happening. This is a problem that's been going on in Australia for years and years and years. And, you know, this is a perfect example of a, an, another life that's been lost for absolutely nothing, you know. All right, it's probably over a drug debt or something like that, but but really, let's let's just say, all right, if that guy owed, you know, $1,000, that $1,000 is just going to cop you guys in prison for the rest of your life. And, you know, that person's family is going to be, you know, mourning for the rest of their life. It's just a loss all around. And um, it's a real problem in Australia at the moment. But let's be honest, like, I think... There's a few things in this clip here what people are missing out on. So I think that when the car pulls back up to pick up the stabber and he says, get in the car, get around here, that actually sounds like a dad talking to a child, if you ask me. That sounds like a dad that's saying, get in the car, he smashed all the windows. Like that. That's what I think. That's just my take on it. But I also think that um, when that, when the guy was going around the neighbourhood saying that um, he was looking for somebody that pulled a knife on him earlier, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realise that that's obviously where the people that pulled the knives on him live in that vicinity, you know. Um, you know, it's not my job to do the cops' work for him, but like I said, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realise what's going on there. And... Um, 
Yeah, it's just sad to wake up and watch this shit on the TV. And, um, you know, they said that um, they're going to catch them and they're going to be spending a lot of time in prison. And they will be. You'll do 20 years over that. And it's premeditated. What people don't understand is that guy has said, um, I'm going to stab him. I'm going to stab him. Now, they've probably got more what that person has said, but they just can't play it on the media. And... Um, you know, that's premeditation. So you said that you were going to stab that person and you did and he died. So that is 100% murder in every way, shape and form. But um, yeah, it saddens me to see this shit, guys. And um, I, I really think that, that something needs to be done. And, um, you know, it's way too easy for a teenager to buy a knife from the supermarket or you know, just anywhere. It's just way too easy for people to get knives. And although I don't think that that would stop this the, the whole knife situation, but something like this needs to be done where it's made not so easy for these young people to get these knives. But, um, yeah, anyway, guys, as much as it saddens me to say this post, you know, um, it, it has happened and, you know, another young man has lost his life to knife crime and, you know, it sounds like a couple of people are going to be spending the rest of their life in jail from it and it's just not worth it, guys. Like, seriously, like I said, let's say the most of that debt was $1,000 and most debts aren't even that much money. It's usually 50 or or 100 bucks. so the chances are that that poor bloke has just died over 50 or or 100 bucks it's just bullshit and um you know you just see it more and more every day and um yeah it's absolute bullshit and it needs to stop i am also the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not